Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today we're in sunny Tuscany, as always, but today we're at the seaside. Why? Because I'm on vacation, yes. But nevertheless, I always want to be here with you guys. And today we're going to talk about a special topic. We're going to talk about the currently produced real to real players and recorders. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes, guys, I know a lot of you already know this, but a lot don't. And I think in any case, it's fun to go through these uh, uh, machines and try to understand their main characteristics, their crazy prices, and maybe they're suiting your interest, your, your needs, and maybe you're going to purchase one. If you do, please give me your feedback because I'm very interested. Okay, guys, yes, these the following five real to real recorders and playback machines I'm going to tell you are currently produced, are currently made. Let's start immediately with number one, the Ballfinger. Ballfinger is a German company which actually started this whole resurgence of real to real machines. Because until the late 90s, everything ceased, dropped, completely closed, but they started back in. I don't remember, around 2005, 15, 16, something like that. And they currently have three models. Two models are for playback, the M002P and the M063HX. Plus they have the top of the line, the M063H5. Wow, which is a recording machine. This goes for 24,000 euro. And when I talk about Euro, just add four or five thousand dollars and you have the price in dollars. As I said, they started it all. As you can see, as we will see in a few seconds, the aesthetics and all the different specs are truly outstanding. I did not listen to any of these recorders, unfortunately, but I'm planning to contact at least one and try to put my mittens on one of these recorders and I'm sure we're going to try be able to test them all together. That's something I'm looking forward to. In any case, let's take a look. Okay, here we are in the Ballfinger website. As you can see, they also make watches and other stuff, which indicates their approach to luxury items and not specific analog um, tape recorders and playback machines. In any case, let's take a look at the top of their line. As you can see here, we have three models that I listed before. This one is the top of the line, the M063H5. As you can see, it is quite amazing, quite beautiful. It comes in black if we want, or traditional in silver. Here you will find a few of the main aspects which are quite impressive here we can take a look at a few images here in the display all electronic beautiful uh, transport and heads wow you can also have the wooden side panels like old machines a lot of information on all the different electronics inside which is conceived throughout with particular attention. I mean, it's not just a luxury and beautiful item. This baby has packed full with uh, technology to absolutely improve the transport, the recording, the playback of magnetic tape. You can see other pictures. And let's take a look also at the technical data. Here at the tape transport, there's a few information on the motors, on the different solutions adopted. Top notch, guys, top notch. As you can imagine, we have the main speeds, the three and three quarters, 7.5 and 15 inch per second. While and flutter is pretty good. The real sizes go up to 30 centimeters, which is our normal 10 inches uh, reels. No problem there. Obviously, double equalization, CCI, IR, and NAB. 
here are the equalizations for the different speeds all tested with recording the masters sm 900 it's almost 28 kilos of amazing quality and amazing technology okay let's pass now to number two where we're going to deep dive in the transformer domain the robot domain the crazy artistic reel to reels of metaxas and sins oh baby oh mama now they have created two machines and other models versions that are absolutely no compromise and the price says so in any case you as soon as you see the pictures the different specs the characteristics the philosophy of this brand which actually comes out from the early 80s they have been making these high-end uh, turntables and different kinds of machines since that period of time and uh, metaxas the, the founder decided also to do these reel-to-reel -reel machines which are incredible not everyone is going to fall in love with their aesthetics but in any case the quality is there it, you, it's undeniable they have mainly two types the trx tourbillon which comes in the only playback version for 49,000 euro plus there's also the recording version which goes for 54 thousand euro if that just a few dollars nothing too heavy on your uh, account i don't know there's something better there's something higher there's something more expensive the papillon 15 inch recording and not only playback machine reel to reel machine the playback version goes for forty five thousand dollars euro excuse me and the recording version of the papillon goes for 75,000 euro oh boy a ferrari practically a ferrari in any case these obviously are not for everyone this is the verge the apex of this type of reproducing reproducting and recording type of media and i'm glad there is something so incredibly and astonishing i think again it's not for everyone but who cares in any case let's take a look okay here is the website of metaxas and sins where you can find some information on all their products which is a whole lot of products actually but we're going to focus on the uh, cassette tape recorders and players here there's a brief video just want to show you a few seconds of the papillon which are is truly amazing i mean as soon as you put your eyes on this gear you immediately understand that we're talking about something at another level in any case this the papillon which is the studio version of the other one the trx tourbillon here it is is mainly based on stellavox recorders so if you're familiar with that you're going to find a few features similar to that here in these pdfs very nice there's a lot of images a lot of information i'm not going to go through all of it obviously but it's just to give you an idea of the quality the craftsmanship, the 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 project the idea behind these incredible machines as you can see they're customizable different colors astonishing so let's take a look for example at the end of this pdf where we have some specs and i found in reading a little bit of them that they have their magnetic heads are actually made in italy which is quite interesting actually here at photovox technology in turin in torino where they make these studer and revox type of heads the butterfly and normal in line two tracks four tracks in different um widths so this is kind of interesting uh, and they're probably doing them for uh, most of the new old stock or refurbished machines of studer so the the metaxas have this type of uh, of heads as you can see there's not that many specs actually 
a good frequency response, 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The signal to noise ratio is so-so, 67, but that's normal, unfortunately. It, only a few uh, cassette decks are uh, capable on tape to go higher than that, actually. So we are more or less uh, in the natural natural way of things for these types of, for this type of machine and the rest more or less is in line uh, I, as I said there isn't that much information actually they're also making as I said uh, the, the, this papillon version can go all the way up to 15 inch reels so even bigger than the normal 12.5 inch the normal size of a, of a reel and again, this is, should be more or less very similar in uh, respect to the other machine. But it is studio grade quality and meant for recording mainly. Again, incredible stuff. Okay, okay, let's pass now to number three. Torrents. Yes, the Swiss company has also recently released a uh, reel-to-reel playback only machine, which is based actually on the ball finger design. But the good news is that it comes at half the price, 12,000 euro, which is quite good considering the other one was 24, coming, becoming a little dark. I hope you can see me. In any case, as I said, it's not a recording machine, nevertheless, you have all the different types of features of the ball finger, top notch quality. Uh, Torrents change a few things. Amazing, excellent. Let's take a look. Here we are already on the Torrents website where we can see the TM1600. Here on the right, the different models of turntables. They're mainly focused on that. Torrents was a Swiss company. Now it's mainly based in Germany, but it still maintains its heritage. And here is the beautiful machine. Uh, directly inherited by Ballfinger. Here are a few beautiful pictures. As you can see, it is a luxury item, absolutely. Beautifully done, beautifully assembled and crafted. I can see already here we have the selection of the equalization and other commands just for playback as stated before. It's an excellent machine, although, as I said, you cannot record. If you take a look at the different specs, there are not that many specs. Even the playback speed is limited to 19 and 38, which means 7.5 and 15 inch per second. Direct drive, no indications, unfortunately, on the frequency response, on the signal to noise ratio, on the wound flutter. The price, as I said, 12,000 euro and not much else, but Great looking machine. Okay, fourth position. I think perhaps the most interesting of all, the analog audio design. And they make two models, the TP Tape Player 1000 and the TR Tape Recorder 1000. A recent article that came out on Hi-Fi Pig, excellent website, excellent magazine, take a look if you don't know. They describe a few of the characteristics and they declared that the price of the TP1000 is around 10,000 euro. So very, very good compared to the other one. It's a high price, but we're talking about top notch, reel to reel gear, reel to reel machines. The TR is a recording machine and uh, it's probably gonna cost a little more. I haven't found the price out. If you know anything about it, please write it in the comments. In any case, it's gonna be, re be released in just a few weeks or just a couple of months probably. And the price, I don't know, but I think it's gonna be a little higher. Nevertheless, apart from this, the aesthetics, the quality of the specs of the components really seem to be interesting. Let's take a look. Here we are at the Analog Audio Design website. As you can see, they're greatly promoting the TP1000 and TR1000. And let's take a look at the TR, which will be out before the end of 2021, as they say. And taking a brief look at the specs, uh, the different speeds, the wow and flutter, the signal to noise ratio, which is among the best, uh, if we consider 
all the other ones up until now. Also the Wow and Flutter, which for example wasn't that great on the uh, Metaxas. If you take a look at everything, if you take a look at the final price, at least for the uh, TP1000, it all seems to fit in position. It all seems to be correct. Now this is a 3D rendition. Uh, in any case, it gives us a good idea of the final tape player, which I think will be one of the best solutions after all, considering uh, all the different aspects and, as I said, the great price. Take a look at the gallery here. There was a few interesting images. Here you can see a little bit. Great display, great looks, great aesthetics, great specs. I don't know, for me, it's absolutely promising. We truly hope that this will rejuvenate and revitalize this industry. Okay, number five, actually a phantom. Not truly in production, but we all hope. What am I talking about? The Revox, new reel-to-reel -reel player. Perhaps even recorder. From the design, the prototype, it looks like only playback. In any case, Revox announced it, I think back in 2016. It pushed it up for two years, and then all of a sudden it disappeared from the radar. No information, at least I didn't find anything. Maybe it's still under development, I don't know. We truly hope that Revox is going to do this, because as we all know, Revox was part of Studer, and Studer was among the main companies that developed this type of technology and invented cer certain and specific types of uh, technologies implemented in this type of reproduction and recording media. So, I mean, when they move, when they start to do something, it's a reference automatically. So we truly hope they're gonna try and make this machine. Okay, guys, please leave down in your comments any other prototype or model that is currently being produced because I just listed the five main ones, but I'm sure there are many, many more. Please write them here below. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, music was born analog, especially here on the seaside. And buone vacanze. Ciao, ragazzi. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.